From the moment you arrive in the Yorkshire Dales, you are greeted with miles of rolling green country landscapes and stunning views that go on for miles. But the imposing presence of one of the mountains in this area is the main attraction, Penny Ghent. It's a unique experience and I was looking forward to joining some friends to summit the mountain and see what today's adventure had in store for us. Morning chaps. We are live on the vlog. Well, it won't be live by the time it goes out. <laughs> Shall we say what we're doing? Well, whilst I'm still able to breathe. Go on, Paul. I'll let you know we're making a scent of Pennigent here in North Yorkshire. The weather's with us today. Oh, Bit of a breeze behind us, going to help us get to the summit. Too sweet. <laughs> I shall see you on the way down when I am, in fact, re-oxygenated. <laughs> with a beer. With several beers. <laughs> yeah. This is where the going gets tough, lads. The tough gets going. Aye. Right. Fight the stairs. So this is uh, Jez's first out into Penny Ghent. He decided that he wanted to do it this year. Back in uh, what was it, Jez? February? Yeah, March. Christmas, Christmas time for his new health kick. It's taken him six months to get here, but he's here. Yeah, no. And uh, he's feeling it, but loving the views. First few minutes. And uh, fair to say there's a bit of a dark cloud looming, looming. towards Penny again, which I think we're aiming for. I'll be uh, interested to see how that goes. We shall see. Sunglasses in the bag. <laughs> Ready to go, yeah. Ready, yeah. Daniel's not got them on yet. He's hopeful though. Hopefully. <laughs> Here we go. Through the first gate. Little bit boggy. Although we've had quite a bit of rain, haven't we, recently? So I think it's. Uh, a lot to do with that. It's, it's not been the driest spell, has it? So, all part of the adventure, Jez. Well, uh, it's the first major climb, this. Yes. And the wind's picking up. Looks like they're actually reaching the summit doing this. Where's Jez? There he is. <laughs> Well done, that man. It was uh, clagged in when we first set off, but actually uh, looks to be clearing up now, which is pretty cool. And uh, hopefully we'll get some decent views off the top of it, but uh, it's nice to actually see what this area is actually like in comparison to the other way that you can get up to Penigent. Uh, but this is definitely more interesting, a lot more rocks and different elevation, whereas the other side is just more of a path. So, um, yeah, I definitely recommend coming this way up and I think the views will be even better once we get to the uh, the kind of the summit really of Penny Ghent. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Be good. A little dip down before I go back up and then head up. Uh, you can just see the gate actually. The gate's just kind of up here and that gate then takes us up left towards the uh, the main incline really. So as we gained more elevation, we, uh, we got in some higher winds at this point and you could really see the base now of the climb we're about to take on. But the, the bigger challenge actually was for us to get through this gate. Pull it! it takes teamwork to get the gate open, is that windy? <laughs> Come on. So yeah, good, uh, good fun. It's going to be pretty windy up there, I can tell you. And don't forget, this is Daniel, to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. And That's smash that bell button to be notified this is this guy. when new videos are uploaded. Fantastic. Look, this is the reason why he's here, basically. How it ties in the channel really well. <laughs> right, we're going to head up. I'm not sure if you can actually hear it, but there's the wind just blistering through this wall which is uh, it might not come out on camera but 
It is hammering through with wind. All good fun though, it's making a bit more drama for the uh, ascent up here. So the wind was pretty fierce actually at this point, uh, being so exposed really on the, uh, the side here. But we were just taking it steady up this pathway, which was still pretty, pretty easy really, uh, before the scramble, which you'll, uh, you'll see next. We were just taking in the uh, amazing views really on the right hand side here. And I've got to say at this point, the, the climb was really, really interesting. Uh, trying to find your kind of own path really up here with different rocks and various things to, uh, to climb upon. It does actually peter out at this point. So once you get up to this next section, it's very flat actually. And, and you can have a, a nice little break actually at this point, which is what we did. And we just gave ourselves you know, five, ten minutes here. Just taking the views and just uh, just taking it all in really. It's uh, it's a nice place to, to stop given that you're almost halfway through uh, the main climb. So yeah, we, uh, we're looking forward to the next bit. Yeah, and this section is just kind of a little area that you can have a little break on as well, which is quite nice. Just before you tackle that last ascent. So yeah, pretty nice. You can get your, get your breath back just before the last bit. So yeah, still making our way up the main climb. And uh, this is a steep bit really. But a little bit of rain coming in now. And uh, yeah, probably looks like we might hit a little bit of rain once we get up the top there. But actually, it's not too bad. I think it'll soon, it'll soon pass given the uh, high winds today. But you just see Daniel at the top, Paul, Paul's in second position, on, he'll, he'll want to be in first, and uh, Jeff's at the back, so, and me vlogging at the back, so that's uh, all good, this can get to get them on film a little bit as well. So we'll keep on going, and this is a bit that you don't normally see because it's normally edited out, but I think for the sake of real time video footage. See. Unfortunately the vlogger has to come all the way back and pick up the camera. So there you go. Bit of behind the scenes content for you there. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, you see some clag up around the tops over there. And a bit of contrasting light over here which is where the uh, the range has come from so yeah, mixed, mixed weather as you'd probably expect, but it's, uh, it's good actually. I thought it'd be worse than that today. I'm sure there's actually many ways you can come up here as well. We'll stick to this path. It's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, it's much more of a scramble at the top here. I guess you just got to be uh, mindful of the wind as well. And uh, obviously you can see all the water coming down, which uh, obviously make these rocks a bit slippier. But yeah, no, it's something. So in my excitement to get up the mountain, I uh, just took in the views at this point. It was really, really high winds, but a fantastic view all around. Just looking down at the guys here who had the final ascent to do up the final scramble and we'd all press on together to the summit. That oh, was really good though, wasn't it? Yeah, great. The uh, actual kind of scramble. The actual scramble of the mountain there was actually really, really good because I didn't actually think it would be as, as much as that. But yeah, amazing. You see the trig point there? And uh, yeah, 694 meters. So not too bad for a Sunday morning. Very really good. Well done, Paul. Well done. Summit. Hello Daniel. 
Thank you, thank you. Jazz first summit. So a nice moment here on the top of the summit between Daniel and Paul, just grabbing a couple of photos and we decided at this point we'd uh, stop for lunch and grab 10-15 minutes and while I waited I decided to take a bit of a time-lapse video of the, uh, the clouds starting to roll in because conditions really started to uh, change actually just within 5-10 minutes. The wind really really picked up quite a lot and you can see the low cloud that started to roll in and essentially we were kind of sat on the other side of the wall out of the wind but we knew we were expecting a bit more of a uh, dramatic kind of downward uh, descent off Pennygent and uh, that's definitely what we got as you'll see. As you can see now, the conditions have completely changed and uh, low kind of cloud, high winds on this uh, side of the, um, the climb or descent now, obviously on the way down uh, with the summit up there, which you can't now see. But um, yeah, I think it might pass actually in fairness because it is actually quite bright over here. And uh, just because of how windy it is, I think it will pass fairly quickly. You can see, you see it's starting to open up a bit more now, which does look absolutely amazing, actually. It's, uh, yeah, look at that. It's basically a couple of minutes and, um, well, seconds, actually. It's completely changed. I've just managed to uh, capture that at the right time. So that's pretty awesome. And... Uh, yeah, loving the views. Obviously now, now the low flying clouds uh, kind of disappeared. But fantastic day. But uh, yeah, all moved away up there. And yeah, you can see now where we've come from. So yeah, it's been really cool. So the winds at this point were really, really high actually, and uh, so much so that unfortunately my audio just really didn't come out very well at all, so I've uh, done this voiceover instead. Um, but yeah, you can just see how uh, how windy it is at this point with uh, me holding on to my hat and fear it flying away somewhere. And um, yeah, it was, it was quite a good laugh actually on the way down here. As you can tell, we're all uh, enjoying the dramatic winds. But um, a really easy walkway down, uh, really simple, just pathway. We just took in the views and enjoyed it. How are you feeling, Jez? Feeling good. Oops. Feeling good? Legs are good? Yeah, I'm enjoying the coming down more than good for going up. <laughs> oh yeah, it's definitely a lot easier going this way. It's nice. I've got um, some nice... Oh, way up. Did you get that on film? <laughs> we've, got a, we've got a mobile mobile person now um yeah i was saying we we walked up this way the last time we did it and actually in the end we actually missed all that amazing scenery over there so it's definitely a lot easier coming down this way and you've obviously done the hard part over there haven't you so look at this I'm gonna start employing you for the uh, for the shoots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's closer we've been to uh, any hedges today. He's not shy this one, is he? 
Hello. Oh, he's going to go in a minute. They tend to always move, don't they? Right. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Tours 23. To do what? Well, quite a climb. It's at 694, wasn't it? So, pretty, uh, pretty good day's graft. Well, morning's graft. So feeling good, Jez? Yeah, feeling good. Enjoyed the experience? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a good day to do it as well. Yeah. Ultimately, it's uh, it's always weather dependent, but I think when you get a fairly dry day, you're pretty lucky, really. I know it's been high winds, but still, it's not too bad. You'll get now. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. That's a nice shot, isn't it? It is, isn't it? There you go. Very much. Video and phone. Oh, even better. Even better. But that's not me good side. So, yeah, we just spotted a uh, nice little waterfall down the bottom of there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but beautiful view back up to Penny Ghent from this angle. So, it really is a beautiful area here. I just wanted to add in a couple of photos that I'd taken on my previous visit here just to show Penny Ghent in different light conditions. And I also managed to capture this amazing image with the rainbow next to it as well. So, I thought I'd just add that one in. Thankfully, the weather is, has held out for us as well. It's been a really, really good day. Just kind of casually walking through the valley up to, up to Penny Ghent. And uh, yeah, I've been really, really fortunate with the weather. We've had probably a couple of spells of rain, but really it was kind of not much really. It was quite a fine drizzle, so we got away with that. As uh, high, high winds, but I take the winds over. Been rained on all day, so we've been very fortunate. Managed to get the drone out as well, which is a added bonus. But couldn't do it on the top of Penny again. It was far too windy. So yeah, we're nearly at the end of the video now. So just one thing to say, and uh, thanks for watching. If you've watched this far in the video, it's uh, very much appreciated. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed it. I do watch this kind of, I do watch the channel every week, um, kind of keep my eye on it and try and grow the channel a little bit. But uh, yeah, generally, if you've enjoyed it, please leave me a comment because I do reply to all the comments. There's not that many that I get. So uh, if you're interested in anything to do with this walk, please give me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll come back to you on it um, or anything else with any other videos. Yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, more interesting as well. Beautiful views. Yeah, 6.3. Three hours. We'll definitely enjoy that, won't we? Back to the car park. Yeah, we've done it, lads. Well played. One peak done. Well played. Pinkle butter next. Well done. Well, well done, Jazz. Good job, well Jazz. Cracking day. And a beer to finish. <laughs> Hello. Can I just get a uh, pint of cars, please? And a half a coke, please. I'll have a pint of Carling. Actually, I'll have a pint of Madrid. <laughs> If, if you get that, forget the cause. Right. Yeah. 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 Cheers, bro. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. I'm thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh, very good one. That was a pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure to be with you all. Cheers. Very cheers. good. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, I'll go and get my shepherds. Yeah, that's it, it's a beautiful.
flip shape. Part of the adventure, Jez. 